it's Poppy from Super Fun Toy Pop, and today we're going to be opening the April 2016 Premium Box from Tokyo Treat. So, we've got the first anniversary edition of our Tokyo Treat Box. Right, first snack is the Caramucho Hot Chili Flavored Chips. So they look like inside. There's a chip. So these ones are m mild spicy. They don't have a bit of a kick to begin with. It kind of comes in a little bit afterwards. But you could definitely eat a lot of them before you feel like it's too spicy. It really is pretty tasty actually. See, we've got these are carrot chopped rice cake. They're not orange at all. <laughs> they just look like that on the outside. Pretty small. Maybe you eat these by the handful rather than just one at a time. So these taste just kind of like a lightly, I don't know, a lightly puffed. A lightly sweetened puffed rice chunk. There's no real sort of flavor to them, it's just kind of sweet. But they taste good. These are the Calbee barbecue flavored Sapporo potato snacks. And they're surprisingly kind of puffy. Like a perforated potato. So they're really light and crunchy and you could probably eat a lot of them. This is the Baby Star Bonito Kelp Udon Pack. And I don't have any hot water. So I will have to make these later. This is the chocolate monaka. It's a traditional candy bar of Japan. Large bars of crispy and airy vanilla biscuit with a puffed chocolate filling on the inside. <laughs> it's like a giant wafer. Really light. Oh, look, you can kind of see through it a little bit. All right. Oh. Comes oh. This is pretty light and yeah, it's got a, a slight chocolate flavor. It's not too overwhelming um, and it's not too, too sweet, which is nice. So back here I saw in the premium boxes, they have a special Dormon and Hello Kitty purse for this month. That's the one that I got. All the bows on the back. These are all of the types that you can get. Chocolate flavor and green tea flavored mochi. Okay. So lots of powders, discs, something squishy in here. This is the wasabi grilled seaweed. Can't say I'm a big fan. I prefer my seaweed in sushi as opposed to crunchy snack form, but it does kind of have some wasabi bits sandwiched inside. It's hard to see. And in contrast to the seaweed, we've got the Meiji's Plum Patty Chan. And it's plum, which is bitter and sweet. It kind of looks like little bits, pretty much like Pop Rocks, I think. So yeah, there's what they look like. It's a really nice flavor. It's kind of 
yeah, if plum, that's what the flavor is, a little bit floral, it's really, really nice. This is the Baby Star Yakisoba Sauce flavored noodles. Looks pretty good. Dried noodles. They taste like dried yakisoba. This is the raw Ramune candy. Apparently if you cool it and freeze it in a fridge, it will change the taste and the texture, which I haven't done. So we're just gonna go for the normal out of the bag texture. I can smell it already, I haven't even opened it. And they look like these fun little ice cubes. Oh my goodness. So they're squishy. Mm. Maybe they will taste better if you freeze it or they're cool. But right now, they're a big no for me. Oh. <laughs> It almost tastes like super sweet to begin with, and then it kind of, I don't know, gives this weird aftertaste and kind of coats your tongue in a weird way. Blah, okay. All right, oh, I think this is a good time for this then. Ooh. So we've got the Sakura Pepsi, limited edition Pepsi. It's a combination of Sakura Blossom cherries paired with a well-known taste of Pepsi. soft pink color. It does taste like Pepsi mixed with something. I don't know. It's one of these things where if you closed your eyes and you imagined what color of Pepsi you were drinking, you would think it's pink. Here's the crunchy Panda Z or Panda Z for the zagu zagu or crunch crunch feeling you get when you eat a mouthful of these crunchy chocolate pandas. Here's what they look like. <laughs> of course I managed to pick out the angry looking panda. So they each have different faces. A happy panda, silly panda. Got a nice dark chocolate taste to them. They're not super, super sweet. Like if you were to eat a fudgeo that you could get in North America. It's not as sweet as those at all. This is the Pukka Chocolate. Pukka Chocolate. Little crispy nuggets of browned biscuit are filled with the most delectable chocolate you will enjoy in my day. We'll see. hole where they've been injected with chocolate. These are like chocolate filled pretzel shapes only they would be so much better if they had the pretzel salt on them. Here is our last item in our premium box for April. This is a Koala March custard pudding flavor. Wow. Hey, I wasn't expecting these to be printed. Well, no, they are. So these are all our little super cute koalas. And they've got a nice little sweet custardy inside. The Caramucho Hot Chili Flavored Chips. The Chocolate Monica Bar is number two. And number three is the Plum Patty Chan. Thanks for watching the unboxing of the April 2016 Tokyo Treat Box. Come back again in May and we'll open the May box. Thanks for popping by.